hello, hello, hello. Here we are again. Just like last time and the time before. In the manner of Fortan. With Elfino and Tataru. Playing some Final Fantasy, of course. 14. And finishing the patch content. Let's hope we can get through it all. Hey, yo, Exity. Thanks for the lurk. Been watching your stream. Yeah, thanks. It'll be so much fun. Alright, let's go and let's just do it. You spoke with Sir Emmerich? I do not envy his new position. Isgard has chosen a new road, but one littered with the detritus of a thousand years of broken faith. Yet through our people may stumble from time to time. I know of none better than Sir Emmerich to lead the march of progress. That's true. As for us, there remains the small matter of ushering in a new dawn in the shadow of the inscrutable Asian machinations and seemingly an endless procession of primals. But we too must walk our chosen path, no matter how tre treacherous the footing. Interesting. Oh yeah, I finished the quest of course, I didn't finish it because I didn't want to spoil anything for myself. Who have the dragon song question roll? That is so cool. And the wind up Emmerich, hell oh, yeah. Give me that stuff. In the wake of Ishgard's gov governmental reform, new airship routes have been sanctioned. You may now travel to a selection of distant locales from the landing in Ishgard. Really? We'll have to check that out in a moment then. There we go. Was a warrior of darkness again. One of the warriors of darkness. Don't like him. He's sneaky and arrogant. Ooh. Didn't like that smile. <laughs> Did up a Palamon? Maybe? No. Elidibus, the warrior of darkness again. Thank you, Blen Hertz. Blen? Blen Hertz? Blen Hertz? Blen Hertz. Nay, you need not remain there. We shall rendezvous at the usual place. <laughs> All is proceeding as expected then. Aye, there's naught to concern us. Aside from one over cu overly curious mouse. Thank for it. No. No, it's the. Is it the sister? Or is it the. Or is it the elf, you know? Yeah, it must be the sister. It's a different outfit. Him again. <laughs> yeah, the one that beat your ass last time. It is of no moment. They will play their part, and we will play ours. Hmm. Yeah. I don't think he agrees. That's fine. Um, I like the story so much. It's so intriguing. And does that grey mist give way to azure skies? Man and dragon rise above, voice joint and song. But beneath shrouded bow bows, beyond the scope of light, shadow stirs. Oh no, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> there we go. Floor the horde. <laughs> good. A new day dawns in Ishgard and the house for Thompson's tidings view. Alright, let's see how they've been getting along with the politics. Invitation from the, a truly prominent personage was delivered to the manor a short while ago. Would that you had been re to receive it, but in any event, Sir Emmerich de Borel, Lord Speaker of the House of Lords, Lord Commander of the Temple Knights, and Viscount of Lord Borel, House Borel. Damn, what a title. Cordially invites Master Schoa to dine with him in the Dine? Hmm. That's a nice occasion. Right. Of course, the intervening moons afforded little opportunity for leisure. But with the happy advent of peace, 
this plane the Lord Commander sees no further cost to delay. What say you? Of course I will go. Oh, we'll, we'll, no, I think my outfit is fine. I mean, look at it. Indeed. Who would not? He'll forgive me if I seem envious. <laughs> Ashes and word of your acceptance to Boel. Man Boel Manor? Oh, he also has a manor. Well, he is royalty. Was. When you are ready, pray to uh, report at to the astrological. They will have someone escort you the rest of the way. Alright. Ooh, I, didn't e I don't even have Discord on. Uh, here we go. Well, let's go. House of Borel Steward. Oh, let's just walk this way. Alright. It's not that far. Whee! Don't die! There's also something to unlock here. Sky Pirates? Oh, that does sound interesting. How many quests do I have? Because I don't have many left anymore. Oh, I can only do three of them still. I still have to do so many quests, guys. Ah, we'll do that one later then. There's so much to do. Oh, don't have to go here. Let's go. I should clean up my quest log. I mean, look at that. It's the same with WoW, by the way. Every time when I just play an MMO, my quest log just gets overly full. Oh well. Wow. This is House Borel. Right. Yes, yes. Okay, thank you, thank you. Let's just go in. I want to talk to Samrick. Why don't I have such a nice house? I am the warrior of light, aren't I? It's so nice. Look, th this is also nice, you know? Not just fighting and such. The Mughals would prove <laughs> such harsh taskmasters. <laughs> Forgive me. I did not know you had suffered so in your quest for the horn. <laughs> oh yeah, the Mughals with King Morglin, was it? Oh, that was fun. That's such a nice moment, guys. Damn. I must say, your spirited accounts always come as a welcome change from the arid reports which fill my days. <laughs> yeah, quite boring now, isn't it? That's politics for you. <laughs> it's so weird just to be at me. Dinner, though. I do like it. <clears> hmm. <throat> mm. Normally, I wouldn't trust this because, you know, we have had bad experiences with drinks. In the past. Though I have lived in these lands my entire life, to hear you speak of them, there is much and more I have yet to see. Truly, yours was a marvelous journey. Oh, it's just starting. <laughs> yeah, wanna join me on the next? Come on, Emmerick. Yeah, I'll probably have to do more responsibilities though. Yeah. <laughs> well, Truth be told, when I think back on the sweeping vistas of the churning mists, I do feel some slight pangs of wanderlust. But... I have Alas, to stay here. much as I would like to accept your invitation, I fear my present duties with the House of Lords demand my undivided attention. 
expected Someday, nothing less. Perhaps. Well, hopefully. Hopefully he will turn. By your deeds, you have helped us to lay the foundation for lasting reform. The formation of the Republic is but the beginning. For it is not only our system of governance which must needs change. We, the people, must learn to let go of our hatreds and rise above our bloody past. I only pray that I live long enough to see us achieve some measure of success. That I might know the lost did not die in vain. I think you'll do fine. You're a good leader. I can still see you there on the steps of faith, striding fearlessly towards the worm. If you could do that, who are we to bulk at the challenges ahead? Do you hear it? Have trust in yourself. The question of how best to strengthen ties with the other great nations of Eorzea has been debated at length in the Lords and Commons of late. As you may imagine, maintaining stability during this period of historic upheaval is our paramount concern. Nevertheless, we are greatly indebted to the Alliance for their support during the Grand Melee, and it would be remiss of us not to repay their faith in kind. I'll we'll probably of have course, to fight another war later. The greatest debt of all. And it is my hope that in extending our support to you and the Scions, we might also express our gratitude to our neighbors, nay, our fellow Eorzeans, whom we pray you will continue to protect. Of course I will. The Lords and Commons agree on very little, but not a soul in either house begrudges your order this offer of patronage. For all you have done and will do, we thank you. Oh, that's nice to hear. He's like a good friend. Please don't kill off someone else with poison. <laughs> suck. suck. <clears throat> mm, I'll trust this. May I ask a personal question? Sure. Now that the dust Not is too settled, personal, though. <laughs> what would you do? Not as a scion, I mean, but... What do you want for yourself? That is a good question. Can I answer myself? Lord Commander, pray forgive the interruption. News from House Fortal. Mm -hmm. An urgent message for the Warrior of Light. I was instructed to deliver it without delay. All right, what's going on? Master Thancred returned to the manor a short time ago, bearing an injured maiden. Oh, the sister, of course. I almost Master forgot Levera about her again. Mistress Tataru <laughs> attending to her wounds, but they like not her chances. Respectfully, my lord, they have requested the Warrior of Light's immediate presence. My presence? I'm not a healer. I'm a dragoon. You must go to them, my it's friend. A and I shall go with you. <laughs> Let us be off. Pity of the food, though. Never waste your food. That's advice. For every ending marks a new beginning. Hmm. From tragedy and sacrifice, we rise to greet a new dawn, as did he. But this is a new narrator, so it means a new story? This is not the start of Shadow uh, Stormblood, is it? Nah, it's the patches. So only to be drawn onto another battlefield, another cause, as if by fate. Hmm. The house by our steward. Yeah, I did. All right, let's show me inside. What was the name of the sister again? I can't remember at all. There she is. Yes. <laughs> is that? Yeah, who is that? Alize. Alice's twin sister. Oh, what? We call her Elsie. 
Just like Elfie and Elsie. Yeah. She ran afoul of the Warriors of Darkness. I had been tracking them since the ceremony at Falcon's Nest. Little did I know I was not the only one. Evidently, she had learned of their activities and attempted to shadow them on her own. Poorly. <laughs> I Not rescued her in Twelveswood, and together we fled north. But though I made every effort to cover our tracks, they caught up with us on the Ishgardian border. And in the ensuing struggle, Elise took an arrow to the shoulder. <laughs> I hope it won't be to the knee, though. I'm escape, sorry. But I realized it was... <coughs> sorry. Excuse me. Poisoned arrow, cowards. Thank you for coming so quickly. And you, Sir Emmerich. Think nothing of it. How is she? We have done all we can for now. Although the immediate danger has passed, the poison yet lingers in her blood. Hmm. It sucks. We'll save her. Like we do with everyone. We came to Eorzea together. Hoping to bring salvation to the realm our grandfather gave his life to protect. But when confronted with the bitter realities of its politics and its petty power mongers, she was driven to anger and to doubt. That's too bad. Hopefully she'll, you know, not be so bitter She refused in the end. to become embroiled in what she termed Eorzea's squabbles and distance herself from the Scions. Squabbles? Though she remained right. hopeful of a brighter it's future, a war. she would walk her Several own ones. path. Would that it had not been so perilous. Mm. You never know. For She'll join us maybe. Later. She's as dedicated as any scion to the salvation of Eorzea. But more than that, she is my sister. Oh, poor Alfie. To be reunited with her, only to lose her forever. Gods, even to speak the words. She'll be fine, we'll save her. Take heart, Master Alfino. She will be attended by our most skilled Kyrugians. Kyrugians, such a weird word. Is that just an old word for a surgeon? Bear Mistress Leveilleur to the infirmary at once. Apprise Captain Whitecape of the situation and inform him that she is to be treated as my personal charge. Oh, nice. W wait, don't go. Please come closer. Who, me? Oh, it's actually me? The warriors of darkness are in league with the Asians. Slaughtering the primals is but the first step in their plan. Hmm. What that was surprising to you? Zelvatol to bring about Garuda's summoning and to kill her. You must. You must stop them. Why? Doesn't really matter if they kill primals, right? Oh well, they also gain power from it. I, I shall inform the others at once. Go to tower, go! Master Thancred, I would ask that you accompany Mistress Leveilleur to the infirmary. Your knowledge of her injuries may well prove useful in determining her treatment. Alright. Of course. Poor Elsie. Oh, what now? Surely, surely they won't let her. Yes, yes, I know. We must trust in Captain Whitecape and his Kyrugians, I guess. Did they not bring Estinian back from the very brink of death? That's true. I am un uncomfortably reminded of how he mocked me for praying at his bedside for days on end. Alright, alright. She'll be fine, I guess. What say you, my friend? Shall I return our attention to a matter whose conclusion we have yet the power to influence? Sounds good. Ooh, spaghetti carbonara. 
Heavenly eggnog. It's even called heavenly. Oh. A decadently creamy concoction of crafted from raw eggs, thick cream, honey, and if you are feeling adventurous. Oh. Oh. I'll take that, thank you. Alright, the advent the uh, Warriors of Darkness are even on the front page, so it must be a battle with them. Hmm, lots of that they were confronting Nirvana. Yeah, just have been killing them. Well it seems obvious, but the question is why? There's much and more I do not understand, but I know this a primal summoning cannot be ignored. True. Elsie risked her life to uncover this plot, and we squander her gift at our peril. Cereal, will you accompany to me to Xelp at all and help me stop the Ixaus ritual? Well, let's do it. Given that Ishgar shares a border with Ixali homeland, we have a vested interest in the outcome of this ritual. We have been willing to suffer the beastmen's intrusions in the Corthian lands to a point. But the summoning of a primal is an escalation we cannot abide. You shall have our fastest airship, Master Elfno. The mounts of Xavatol will not are not easily traversed, and this endeavor demands all haste. Yeah. The gesture is most appreciated, Sir Emmerich, but I fear an aerial approach is destined to fail. This is their homeland, after all, and extrali dirigibles are not to be underestimated. No, experience tells me only convinced Confeasible approaches by land. Conceivable. God, weird. I believe it would be wiser to cross into Xelfatol that way of the mountain pass east of the Grand Dragonhead. Alright. In that case, I shall send instructions for a contingent of the camp's knights to be placed at your disposal. They will secure your safe passage through the mountains and escort you thence to Xelfatol. Though my men are unqualified to confront a primal. They are more than capable of contending with the Exile. Nice. So we get some nice uh, knights escort. In the event Miss Mistress uh, Elsie regains consciousness, we will share with you any additional information you see may provide. May the Fury watch over and keep you safe. Thank you. We'll be fine, probably. And let us be off. We can procure any additional supplies we require in Camp Dragonhead. We must away! Right, Camp Dragonhead, let's go. Luckily, I can teleport there. Alright, Alfie must be here somewhere. What the hell? What the hell? What well, is she sitting on? There you go. There you are, Alfie. Alright, let's go. It's up there. Wait. Up there? Alright, well, let's go. Fly, Krabby, fly! Yes, every mount can fly, actually. How? Magic. Oh. There we are. Alright, should be put there up to something, I don't want anyone interfering. The enemy will be thick on the ground. Upon arriving, let us advance with care as we search for the site of the summoning ritual. If the gods are good, we should only have to contend with the exile. If they are not, we may be forced to battle with the warriors of darkness. Oh, it's a dungeon. Isn't it? Right. Uh, well, a party full of players. Now let's just do it with NPCs because I'm... He's an academician, a banneret, and a knight. That's not something that we can actually play, right? 
interesting any oh wow Is that an airship oh we have to fight a giant frog again I'm wondering about that airship, though. Alright. What the hell? Oh. Falling rocks. That's an understatement. those before. Ah. Yo, run. Oh, oh it's, a, <laughs> it's a falling rock even. Alright. Ah, oh, we already killed it. Quickly. Hmm. I cast some cobra. Oh, that's interesting. Alright. Let's go! boss the giant toad why is it not a boss oh no it's not even a boss That air is that an airship? I think it's an airship. It's a giant one, though. I haven't seen one of those before. Ooh. Let the rock fall on us. To the house of Levier! To the house of Levier! Hits anyway? Oh, I thought I skipped it. Oh, damn. The rocks can hit them, too. Interesting. We are both died. Let's go. Is that a balloon? The text of above. 
<laughs> he's stuck to a balloon. <laughs> what, what is he doing? Is he stuck or is he... Alright, let's just attack him then. Get over here. What? Oh, damn. Are we seriously attacking a balloon? A floating turret. It's just a machine. Okay, we have to get into... Oh, Alright, alright, interesting mechanic. Oh, that's how we get them down. Ooh, interesting. Oh, we have to destroy that thing, I guess. Can't we? Oh, oh we can't. First boss backed already. Not bad. Getting better and better at this. Yeah. I keep. Where do I have to turn in those tomb tomb tombstones of poetics? Of poetics, vendor. It should be somewhere around here. Um. <laughs> Balloon warfare is a real, real thing. Has been since World War One. <laughs> and how has that turned out? Are we all forgetting the Hindenburg? Oh, those tombstones of poetics I can purchase augmented sets, crafting reagents, minions, and orchestral rolls. All right. All right. I have to get more of those. Well, I already have to max out, but you know, spend it and max them out again. Alright, alright, alright. Let's take him down. Bad, not bad. Getting the hang of it a little bit more. The sea is goo -boo. Don't mess with the goo -boo. I doing by by base. I doing. Sorry, I was a little bit concentrated at the moment. But where do we have to go actually? Oh, we have to go up. All right, all right. Let's go. Oh, we're already there. Yeah, let's hit this one. Oh, no, even more. All right. Oh, 
No, I did the wrong one. I want to write to write the movie script. <laughs> How are you gonna write it then? You're gonna give it a better ending. Away with you. Oh, keep pressing the wrong button. Just need to switch those, I think. Let's go. It would be hard yet yeah, to let the, the thing explode. True, true. Alright, pick it up. But you are right, Diabase. Feels like it's been written by a monkey. Alright. Imposing gate. Well, not very imposing when I have the key. A bit disturbing that it's a bone key, though. Oh well. Now I'll operate the lift. Are you guys coming with me or well, all right, bye, I guess? Yeah. Let's go. Oh, oh, that's really nice. Nicely done, this. Final Fantasy XIV, making waterfalls in 2012. Oh, two goo goos. No chicken? No pigs. That's so cute! Look at them! Oh! Oh, I need that one as a pet though. Alright, let's go! Oh, don't kill me instantly, please. Oh, here we go. Alright, now we can go again. Wrong button again! Uh. The spots are actually badly programmed, I have to say. Normally, you know, they would just stand in the way or don't, don't even get hit. They don't even bother about getting out of the way. But they, here they like explaining it for you a little bit as well with sometimes. And also just saying like, oh, watch out for this or watch out for that. At certain points, which is interesting. Just need to rouse the wind with that fan. You see like a little uh, nice of our camp I've just at the vents. All right. Do it. Oh, damn. Yeah, that's true. Ooh, damn. Oh, you don't have to go there. I'll get spiked. <laughs> I was standing at the right uh, spot. Good to know. Go 
It's machine mechanics, though. Right, am I sending that? Yeah, I am. All right. There we go. Saving the limit break for the last boss. Yeah, that's how we do it. Let's go. The first mountain. All right, interesting. That is so cool looking though. Is it from the XL themselves? Because, damn. For primitive creatures, they're not bad. Engineers, I don't know. I thought that was just the goblins. There you go. Oh, an air stone. Interesting. And then, hmm. Oh, and then we can use that one, of course. There we go. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that's so fun. But to now, it's been a fun dungeon, I have to say. If you play the story and it's trying to build a new kind of airship. Really? What do they want to do with that airship then? Kind of curious sometimes. Sorry. I love lore in any kind of game. If I play something, I want to know the ins and outs. Oh, don't forget the treasure. Interesting. So we go to the big airship, I guess. Or will that be a raid? Because that would also be cool. Or some other dungeon. Whee! There we go.
Let's go. That's how we do it. Who are you? Yeah, that one looks awesome. And I haven't completed that store now yet. I've been working backwards from Endwalker. Alright, that's also fun. I used to do that with WoW as well, by the way. Whenever I was like, yeah, I want to find out more about, um, I don't know, anything, the goblins or something as well, like like that race, I'll just play the goblin race and then just work my way up to Cataclysm or something. It's always interesting to find out more later. Alright, let's go. Beow. I like, by the way, that you get the achievements for exploring dungeons as well. So interesting. I guess we have to not stand close. He even has a oh, oh damn, he even has a floating weapon. This is cool. Cool, get that. Oh. Damn it, come on, we can do it. And the trap or should help flesh out the world a lot. Yeah, it seems interesting as well, by the way. Oh, damn. Nice mechanics. I love it. Some Garuda? Oh damn. Wait, how did I get hit? Oh god. Alright. Stormblood and after they are decent sort of XP too. Ooh, that's nice actually to know. So I'll probably have to do some grinding. <laughs> Thank God, was that on the side or the flank or not? Uh, yeah, the flank. Alright. The other one was behind. There we go. Oh, just too, too, too late. Too late. Alright, it's fine. Alright, let's jump over time to get to my car and drive around the world. Alright, good luck, Diabase. Have fun. It's lunchtime around uh, where you are, right? Alright, hope you had a nice lunch and uh, see you next time. And thanks for stopping by. Alright. Time to leave and watch the cutscene.
Have fun beating up the bird guys. So Dang, this will be fun. The ritual to its completion. Then Garuda is no longer a threat, and whatever the Asians and the Warriors of Darkness were planning has come it's to It's not the 3pm. It's been a crazy day. Oh, right. It's 3pm. But we should not tarry. Crazy days. Have secured our path to Take your rest. You need it. And good luck. Well, well. What do we have here? You'd better not have killed the primal without us. But without who? Ah, oh, oh god, they're here again. They even look sneaky. Hmm. You. Wait, I know you. Still walking, I see. I could have sworn my oh, name was God. true. Oh, God. I hate her already. Just what is your game? Leading us a long way so these fools could step in and claim our prize? No, no. Let's not make hasty accusations. By the look of things, the ritual mm. was proceeding as planned. We arrived at the appointed hour. It was they who erred. It is hopeless. We, didn't, uh, we cannot face them all. Yes, we can. We can do it. Do mine ears deceive? A boy. So that's the way of it. Twins. You had me worried for a moment there. Sure you. that I will happily make it quicker for you. If you just stand still. Enough, Jarumal. We mm. wouldn't want to upset the man in white with any unnecessary bloodshed now, would we? Mm. No, we wouldn't. You've been awfully busy since we were kind enough to spare your lives. Kind enough to spare your lives. I'll strike you down. While you were idly consorting with the Asians, you mean? Seven hells! What could you possibly hope to achieve? Murder and bloodshed. Should I explain it to you? Very well. Consider it a reward of sorts for beating us here. All right. You know the tale of Hydaelyn and Zodiac, I take it. Of the great sundering and the reflections it created. Sure. Across ten and three they were divided. Reflections of the source, each possessed of shards of light and dark. Just so. One of those reflections, the one nearest to the source, is our home. And we were the heroes blessed with her light. Really? So they were heroes of the light? Why now of darkness but not then? not all worlds hold light and dark in equal measure. In ours, the power of light was greater by far. Oh, that's interesting. So the Asians who once threatened our home were no match. And they fell before us, one after another, till none were left. Victory, we thought. But? And then came the light. A flood of pure, blinding radiance, annihilating shadow and color and life itself. Ere long, it will consume our world, leaving naught in its wake but blank perfection. Ooh, that's not good. That... that cannot be. Do you honestly expect us to believe such a story? Believe what you like. But it has happened before, on a world far removed from ours. The Thirteenth, which was swallowed by the dark and transformed into what you call the Void. What? So it has to be in perfect balance then. Condemn us to a similar fate. And so we joined hands with our former enemies, and with their aid came here to the source. For there is but one way to restore the balance and save our home. The ardor. The ardor? Calamitous destruction with the power to break down the barriers between planes and see our worlds rejoined. Interesting. 
Oh, this is interesting, Nora. So, we all live on shards. Alright, that's interesting then. You would doom our world to save your own? What would even become of us? Of you? Enough. I tire of talking. Yeah, we'll kill you now. <laughs> but interesting you though. You know our cause. You know what is at stake. We are prepared to do whatever it takes. Are you? We are. If there is aught you would say, say it. Otherwise, be gone. You have no friends here. Hmm. Interesting. Looks like he was doubting. Not Alfie. All things considered, we should be grateful to have survived that encounter. Do you think it could be true? That to save their world, they must bring ruin to ours. No, no, it matters not. Such wanton destruction is beyond justification. Whatever their reasons, they must be stopped. The sacrifice is the loss. It ends here. Yeah, give me that orchestrian roll. Still not the other one as well. Nice. That's a cool ring, by the way. Hmm, little star. Cute. My daughter would like it. Alfie no, would not like nothing more to can get out of the snow. <laughs> of course. The knights can apprise Lord Edmund of our success and we the Lord Commander. More importantly, I like to sh should like to see if my sister's condition has improved. I understand. You may take a moment for yourself if you wish. I'll be at the congregation. Well, let's go. I want to see if Elsie, how Elsie is doing as well. Ba -da -da, ba -da -ba. Teleport to the foundation. There we go. Oh, I can teleport, don't forget. All right, guys. I hope we can find, uh, finish this patch soon. I've heard these two uh, point three and four, no point four and five patches are quite small. Introducing some characters. It brings me joy to see you safely return to us. So, you know. What news of the self at all? We were victorious, and we were not too late. On behalf of Ishgard, I offer you my deepest thanks. As for we who remained behind, Mistress Yustola has been tending to Mistress uh, Elsie's. In your absence. I am pleased to report that she has regained consciousness. Nice! Alright, now we can hear the full story. I imagine you have many questions, especially given your recent encounter with the Warriors of Darkness. I know you do. I do. Come, let me show you to her room. Do not worry, her condition is much improved. She's a resilient one, much like her brother. Ah, that's good. It's nice for Elfie. She's okay. <laughs> Happy to tire her. Alizé, how are you feeling? Well enough, brother. Thanks to the kindness of our hosts. Mm, nice voice actor. Not bad, not bad. They told me you had departed for Zelfatol while I was still abed. I slept much better knowing that. Thank you. No problem. I take it your mission was a success. It was. As if we needed any further confirmation <laughs> that they are in league with the Asians. Seems but logical, to though. Save another world? I think not. Mm, not sure. I too thought his story fanciful at first, but it is possible there may be a kernel of truth in all of this. I think they at the believe least, they are saving none their of his world. his claims contradict the words account. 
You were following these people, Alizé. Why? During my travels, I had often enjoyed tales of the Scions and their exploits. But after a time, I began to hear whispers of a gifted and theretofore unknown band of adventurers. Hmm. Adventurers who had supposedly to follow sworn to travel the realm slaying primals in the Scion's stead. The Warriors of Darkness. And in the course of investigating these rumours, you stumbled upon the Asian's involvement. Yep, you did. And then you got caught. What else, he? Yes, exactly. Hmm. She's hiding something from us. Forgive me. But if these Warriors of Darkness mean to bring about another calamity, to what end do they hunt primals? I have a feeling that she was actually in league with the Warriors of Darkness for a while. Not knowing they were warriors of darkness, and then later she found out she, they were working in league with the Ashians, and they tried to kill her because she didn't want that. To prompt an escalation, to deepen the Beast Tribe's feelings of helplessness and despair, and thereby drive them to summon ever more powerful gods. And lest hmm. we forget, these events do not occur in isolation. With their patron deities being slain left and right. The news of man's victory over Nidhogg must surely have sown panic in the minds of the Beastmen. Tis no wonder they wish to defend themselves. Because we defeated the dragon? Mm. Power answered with greater power. Death with more death. A vicious cycle fueled by fear and hatred. I know it's like all too well. Yeah, it should be done. Indeed. The Asians sow discord and desperation, and the warriors of darkness reap the harvest. And so it continues. No. Yet that is not the not. extent of their ambitions. The Asian himself observed that once the powerless realize that the old gods have failed them, they will have little recourse but to look to a new one. Hmm. Interesting. We cannot let that happen. It should come as no surprise, but Alizé and I have uncovered evidence that the Asians have been manipulating certain parties to ensure that a constant stream of crystals flows into the hands uh, of the beast tribes. Of course. No surprise if there. If we sever these supply lines, we should at least be able to slow the escalation. Smart, Tancred. All right. Agreed. Kral and I shall journey to Zalfatol <clears throat> and learn what we can of the Ixar's source. Smart. All right, let's go. And what should we do? Then I, for my part, pledge to lead a Welcome, similar by the way, investigation guys. into the origin of the Nath supply. Just finishing up the Heavensward patch stories. Then hopefully make a start with Stormblood. Sir Emmerich. As a member of the Eorzean Alliance, Ishgard is on a bound to play an active role in maintaining the security of the realm. You might also say that I have some personal motivation, given the Asians' dealings <laughs> with my father. However, I make no secret of the fact that my knowledge of primal beings is scant at best. As such, I should be most grateful if one of your order were to assist me. Of course, it will be Alfie Allow probably. Me, Sir Emmerich. Oh, thank I have it. dealt with the Nath before. By the way, Sir Emmerich is taller than everybody else, by the way. Let what us consult is, with what, what is he actually an Ellison, Given right? Given his dedication to the study of primal beings, I should be surprised if he could not tell us something of value. Allow me to accompany you, brother. And before you think to refuse, know that I am not the girl I once was. I shall not be a burden. You were a you burden a just a few hours ago. <laughs> Show us before you tell that or say that. But Alize, you... Hmm. Fine. You are more than welcome. After all, it was you who set us upon this path. That is true. Wait a minute. I'm afraid I can't allow you to leave just yet. Also, a new outfit. Not until you try on the new outfit I prepared for you. <laughs> oh, nice to tell you. It will probably be a very cute outfit again. Oh, a cool one, like Ishtola. Alright. Let's see it. 
Wait, I see. Oh, there you are. That was true, that was a time ago. But it's well, it seems like a lifetime ago. I should like to think that we have both grown since then. True. My apologies for keeping you waiting. That is a nice outfit. Very cute. Really? You put such a warm coat and then just... <sighs> revealing legs. Well, that's fine. Is she walking on thin shoes? Is that like a thin bottom on the top? On the bottom? That's weird. Oh, for a moment. I feared she might furnish you with an identical outfit. <laughs> Wouldn't be surprised. For years of 12, she did not. Mother and father were rather too fond of making us wear matching clothes. That's true. Do you remember that time at the studio when that girl of yours crept up behind me in the, in the hall and whispered? What? Sister, please, she was not my... Ooh, interesting, Alfie. Uh, can we not have this conversation in front of the warrior of light? Ah, come on, of course we can. So be it, another time, perhaps. It is an honor, Sahel. I barely... I realize we are barely acquainted. But having heard so much about you, it hardly, hardly feels that way. I wish I could say the same, but I haven't met you at all. I'm a nice guy. New garments aside, I must say you seem different, more resolute than la last we met. You have to look of a woman's woman who is ready to fight for the future of Eorzea. To the extent of my abilities, perhaps, but I have no delus delusions of grandeur. Nor will I pretend to have found myself or any such thing. I am here today because I re regret if I weren't. weren't. That is all. Alright, grounded. Fair enough, let us depart for the waking sands. <coughs> oh no! It is there, it was there! Let us depart for the waking sands. No, I hoped I would have heard that for the last time. Ori and Jay is still there, of course. Alright, let's go. Oh. Wait, oh wait, I st do I still even have those? Yes. I still have that one. <laughs> Free ride. There we go. Fly. It is nostalgic though to be here. This is where I first mount, mounted my flying mount. It was lovely to even have a flying mount. It was so needed. I was going crazy not having a flying mount. Seeing everybody fly. Oh, Yanji! What's going on? Apologies for calling upon you unannounced. It's fine. Why well, myself know? The, the scholar has seen fit to grant me knowledge of thy coming. What bringeth thee and thine here this day? The warriors of darkness has returned, have returned. Pray allow us to explain. Talking, talking. Explaining, explaining. Don't pretend to be surprised. We saw you with the Lidibus. Alas, as thou didst, didst observe, didst? This service but to spur the beast tribes to pursue their goals with redoubled fervor. Right. It's difficult to read his voice lines. I know English is difficult enough as a normal uh, language, and then he has to speak like in a very old fashioned way. But it's fine. We have two objectives at this time to identify and remove the source of the beast tribes' crystals, and to take direct action. To prevent any further summoning rituals from reaching completion. But we have, we know all the goals, of course. For this very day that I received tidings most troubling from across the Strait of Marithor. Oh, Gomorrah? Who's that? 
And now I whispered that the Lord of Crags nearest the Oh, not him again. Main room is marked out, but in light of thine own oh, next discoveries. Yep. Oh, they do have a steady flow of crystals going through the beast tribes now, the Asians. Alright, let's go. Thank you for your counsel, Orion Jay. Pray inform us that you learn Autents. I shall. You lie. Are you in league with Elidibus? If I may, brother. Orion Jay, is there anything else you would like to say? Ha! Yeah, she knows. Yes, Elsie. You are right. If not, then never mind. I only get ask because you are normally rather more verbose. Nothing to add. Very well. It would depart. I wish to make a request. The warriors of dark darkness spoke of how the ardor had the power to power to break down the barriers between planes, that our worlds might be rejoined. I would ask that you research this for us. Being nowhere near as well read as you, I'm sure I wouldn't know where to begin. That said, I've heard a tell of a promising tome. The Girun Oracles. Maybe you could start there. What's the Girun Oracles? She knows he's sneaky. Why did I leave? Hmm. I don't know why, but I agree that we shouldn't trust Uyan Jay that much. He's been sneaky since ever since Moon died. Oh yeah, I should. Primal Awakening, Primal Night. Oh yeah, I still have those. I don't feel like doing those at the moment. Let's go to the overlook. Oh, it's costing more and more. Alright. Ah. This is where I got the machinist. Which is cool. Alright. Seven L, so this rate I have to appeal to the Millstone Command for reinforcements. Whatever it is, we don't want any. What? I'm not a salesman. Itching to pitch in. Bloody brilliant timing is what it is. Right then, let's get to it. I'm supposed to help you now. And ooh, Gamaro, I've much have got much more aggressive as of late. Just like you said. Matter of fact, our scout spot was sniffing about the stores just now. Likely to make looking to make off with an armful of crystals. What is it with those crystals? Yeah. I know they need a lot, but they're already getting them from the Asians by the way. So they should be fine in that supply. Hmm. Maybe because people have been stealing stuff? <laughs> As will appear to cooperate with Jay's information, yes. But to be so reckless as to infiltrate a Milstrom camp and draw attention to their efforts is passing strange. Hmm. Let's ask them. Alright. Search for the cobalt. Alright. Elf is looking near weapons. I don't know. Seems not really logical. But fine. Why is that cobalt? Maybe over here in this corner. Hmm. Maybe over there. No. Why right behind is the tops? No. Why right on top of here? There you are. Cobalt ling? <gasps> no, don't run away. Coward. Where are you? Are you under the stairs? Yes, you are. Stay back! Away! Far back! I'm not a... Uh... That's no use. Pointless, hopeless, no use. Not a what? Not a gobolt? 
Get over here. Oh, you know. Wait, what? Where did you go? Over here? There you are. Please don't hurt me, I only wish to talk. Yes, yes, just talk. What? Oh, damn it! Stop running from me! Ooh, that's also a cool mount. No, don't get distracted. Alright. What are you doing over here? Left tail. Everyone will. What's wrong with the kobold? Ah, he fought me again. What to do? What to do? I come in peace only to talk. Speak, say, talk. So please, please, don't hurt me. Oh, poor little creature. It won't hurt you. So, this is our wild, wily kobold infiltrator, is it? No one of the soldiers were on edge. They could very well give one a bruised knee. Oh. Huzzah, we've got him. Fine work, Scions. So, little one. Thought you could sneak into my camp, did you? Bought him to steal my crystals, were you? No, no, no. I came to talk to ask for help. But when your soldiers saw me, they drew their weapons and shouted. And I, oh, the poor creature. Now, now. Let us all take a deep breath. And discuss like civilized inf individuals. What is your name, child? You're cute. Pikmin Gabu of the 620th order? Alright, at least I will be Pikmin one day. <laughs> one minute, Gabu. I'm Alphano, and this is my sister, Elsie. And this is the Warrior of Light. Sereo, the man who found you, is our friend. And now that you know our names, we can be friends too. Now, Commander Blowidin. Blowidin? Blowidin? He thinks that you wanted to take his crystals, Gabu. But you said you came to ask for help. Why to us and not your own people? What happened, Gabu? Can you tell us? I. Err, err. <clears throat> no one is going to hurt you, alright? Not while we're here, I promise. Oh, nice. That's so nice of Elsie. The patriarch, he, the patriarch's gonna summon the great father again. And you have to stop him, beat him, fight him, stop him. Why? Why is he gonna summon him again? Gabu's parents said they didn't want it, along with many others. But the patriarch wouldn't listen. He was so angry, raging, fuming, angry. Why? He said if they didn't have iron in their hearts, they would serve as coke for the furnace. Furnace. How? And then the guards took my parents and the others away. And I haven't seen any of them since. Oh, it's gonna be sacrificed. I did not want to believe it, but I have heard tales of folk I fashioned from the bones of beastmen, which worshippers use in their rituals, hoping to summon more powerful incarnations of their gods. Oh, damn. That's gruesome. That is sickening, Alfie. You are right. No one listens to Gabu. No matter how much he cries, pleads, begs, cries. Oh, poor creature. They do not listen. Only talk about punishing the overdwellers and praising the Great Father. Yeah, well, that's not interesting, is it? Gabu loves the Great Father, but he loves his parents too. So please, help Gabu stop the Patriarch and save his parents. We will uh, save your parents, poor creature. Commander, advise Milsom Command that Titan summoning is imminent. Should the worst come to worst, we will require their support. Time being of the essence, we three will attempt to infiltrate the Cobalt Stronghold, secure the crystals and free the prisoners. Well, if you're sure, you'll forgive me if you don't seem optimistic. We'll make ready, just in case. Yeah, let's hope we'll be fine. Wait, I still have to eat some food and some more experience. Yeah. Alright. 
time is of the essence, we will see what else the Gabu knows and formulate a plan without further delay. There you go. Poor Gabu. Shifting nervously from foot to foot, Gabu struggles to meet your gaze. Oh, poor Gabu. As Great Father Titan loves crystals, cherishes loves covers them. And if we gather enough, he will return. That's why the Patriarch told everyone to go forth and gather them. So I was thinking if we take all the crystals away, maybe the Great Father won't come. Very smart. Very good, Kabu. I was just thinking the same thing. Do we know where these crystals are stored? I know. Oh, oh, oh several spots, each defended by a different order. Kabu wanted to steal them, but he was afraid to go alone. Yes, yes, too afraid to go alone. Oh, poor Kabu. But together we can take them away and hide them. Come, come. Kabu will lead you to the first cache. Look how he walks away, it's also so cute. Right. Where is it? Oh, it's yeah, close. Well. Well, it's easy. Isn't really well defended, is it? Look at them. Look at this engineering. Yeah. All the steam engines. Cool. Uh, probably gonna be attacked or something. I'm quite certain that the crate bond once more is guardian seals. Someone took great pains to remove all traces, but enough remains to make out the pattern. Do you see for yourself? Hmm. We smuggled into Philbrand by another party, most likely a part of the Asians. But in in oh it's an inside job. Never you mind about that. As Elsie said, we do not have a lot of time. Can you lead us to the next cache, Kabu? Next one is the la last and very large, very, very big, very huge, very large. All right. Well, let's hope that we can carry it, I guess. Well, I'm the warrior of light. I'll be fine, probably. I think. Oh. Oh, is it in? You see no sign of the crystals. Mm -hmm. They probably hidden them. All right, we're at it in. We're just searching this little corner, guys. You know, spread out a little bit. They must have moved them. Yes. The question is where to and why. Within Oh Gamora, where they summoned the Titan once before, I mean to do so again. Seems logical. Stay calm, we still have time. Have yet to call for the remaining crates yet? Oh yeah, that's true. They can't summon him if they don't have all the crystals. If they had, then they would have found the other caches empty and sound the alarm. Nevertheless, I believe the time for stealth has passed. We must breach the navel and seize the remaining crystals. There's no other way to prevent Titan summoning. Alright, let's go. Alright, Alfie. The crystal shell, if you'll be so kind. There you go. Thank you, I shall deliver them to Camp Overlook for safekeeping and brief commander. Loaded in on situation. Pretty go on ahead. As I recall, there's an aetherite within the Ungmakamaro mines. I should deliver you to the naval. Gabu doubtless noticed the way. Wait for me there. I shall join you anon. Anon? Strange, I would have thought you eager to remain in the thick of the action. But if this is what you would prefer, then Godspeed, brother. This way, says Kabu. 
Kapu is so cute. No, not joining in. Oh, wait. Oh, I have to go around. I think. Mm, flying, flying. This is why I like flying. I don't attract all those creatures anymore. It is amazing that you can actually fly inside of the thing, though. Inside of the cave. Which I didn't expect. I take it this, this is the A-thread we seek. I didn't. Alright, let's go. Quickly, you clouds. Briskly, swiftly, quickly. I will not suffer any further delays. We'll defeat the creature. We have your crystals. There will be no summoning this day. Over oh, here, but how did you? Oh. Oh, poor Gabu. Oh, that's so sad for him. We are but servants of the Lord of the Crags. We are his, that he may drink of our blood and partake of our flesh. That he might draw upon the strength of our, his children and defend them from the tyranny of overdwellers. What use is that, if you sacrifice your own people to protect yourselves? <laughs> She's as hot-headed as her brother. It's her brother now knows better. You will do anything to protect your people, anything to deliver them from despair. Whatever it takes to ensure those that those who threaten you can never do so again. But in your single-minded pursuit of this objective, you have brought suffering on your own kith and kin. You have sacrificed the lives of the very people you sought to protect. But it need not be this way, Patriarch. Renounce this bloody course. Cease your attempts to summon your god and work with us. Together. To build a lasting peace. Another peace to be abandoned by the overdwellers' convenience. Oathbreakers, all of you. Liars, betrayers, and oathbreakers. But well, they did betray them. You take and you take and you take. And you have had your fill, you sue for peace. You promise that this time, this time is the last, until you grow hungry again. Well, that is mostly how it works. Unfortunately. And we dare to defend ourselves, we declare this, that this beast tribe cannot be suffered to live. That our God drains the lands of Ether and brings naught but suffering, death and destruction, suffering upon us all. I will hear no more lies from you and yours, Overdweller. You've ruined your own lands, you'll not ruin ours. Makes a compelling point though. I said I'd come for you. And I did. I'm here. I'm here. Poor Kabu. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Can I just take the parents away from a child? God, Titan is being summoned. What? Oh God, Titan is back. What? Oh, 
What the hell? Is it because Gabu summoned him? <laughs> what? We must away. Flee. Poor Gabu. He accidentally just summoned Primal. Ah, feel so bad for Gabu losing his parents like that. I should have known better than to let Kabu accompany us, given what we like to find. Yeah. The more emotion, the more power. Whereas being born of such tumultuous emotion, this incantation of Titan seems incapable not of violence. Alright. We'll have to find him. Be that as may, he is yet a primal, and the longer we leave him to bleed the land of Aether, the stronger he will grow. And should Titan be permitted to leave Ogamoro? More lives will be lost. The Millstone will rally their troops and the cycle will continue. So, you know what must be done. Will you face the Lord of Cracks once more? Of course I will. Elsie and I will tend to Gabu. When you have finished with the Primal, look for us in Camp Overlook. We'll be expecting you. Alright, hello. Alright, confirm the Titan in the naval. in on hard mode. Alright. Uh, the naval. Uh, join. Alright, guys. And we'll have to wait, I guess. Normally, you could do this with the uh, party finder. And then just the uh, NPCs, but it's a trial, so. I like the other dungeon better, by the way, than the trial, so. But, we'll see. Let's do something else in the meantime. Uh, let's see what do we still have. Blue leading blue seems interesting. Alright, let's go. Welcome, welcome, by the way. Um, isn't it? Where is blue leading blue? Blue leading blue. Wait, I still have to change to blue mage, of course. There's blue mage. Oh. <laughs> I don't have any gear for it. Do I? There we are. That's better. Alright. Yeah, blue leading blue. Blue Weaver Scaled. Let's go. I like the Weaver Scaled. I like weaving, by the way. It's fun as a pastime. Hey, anyway, Royce. It's occurred to me that I never asked whether you actually want to take part in the Master's Carnival. Sure. I hopes for me. <laughs> Alright. I only have one spell though. As for your Lysperious mentor, I believe he should be ready to make his grand entrance any moment now. Oh, nice outfit. <laughs> Look marvelous, my dear. Everyone feast your eyes on the great Azuro. What's that supposed to mean? Well, nothing really, but it lends a certain degree of panache to your stage persona. No offense, darling, but the great Martin doesn't have the same ring to it. That's yeah, true. We'll be playing the role of an enigmatic nobleman who has deigned to grace the Celestium with his outlandish magics. Of course. <laughs> Where are my medicine? I asked for your name. 
champion of light. I mean, hero of light. Warrior of light? Whatever. We should come up with something a little more inspiring before you step into the arena. Alright, can I choose my own name? Uda has a lot of bands member of most beast tribes from entering the city. That's mainly to keep out goblin merchants, you see. I've poured over, well, had someone else pour over the documents, and it seems like there's no mention of Mamoija whatsoever, meaning you are free to stay as long as you please. Oh, that's nice. This is not a good guy, so. Alright, let's go. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I'll admit I didn't think this is how things would turn out. How much life without a few surprises, eh? So it looks I'll be guiding you on the path to becoming a blue mage. Get the impression you're no long no stranger to getting up close and personal with first and beasties. But when it comes to mastering the well well keys, well keys techniques, you've got a long way to go. True. It's the creatures themselves who'll be doing all the teaching though. And the spellbook points you in the right direction. Of course, it won't be much of a matter if you said come back when you've got a few more spells on your belt. Seems like you're needing something specific to aim for. Tell me what, why don't you start by learning Blood Drain? And who knows, it might even come in handy. There are a few spells that you can only learn from creatures in the new world. Luckily for you, Gah Gahilja brought with him a fine selection of totems infused with the Aether. Save your trip because in the go deep. Oh, that's nice. Alright. Alright, come, come on, come on. Complete. Alright, commence. Commence. Oh, God. Commence. Woo. Just in time. <laughs> Alright. Titan, oh I can't remember actually what he was about again. Alright, hi guys. Let's go. Are you kidding? Jumping away again. What? Isn't he just uh, like a, uh, a Gabu only then bigger? <laughs> just a sad child that wants his parents back. Which is sad, by the way. Oh, ouch. Who 
have to do with those boulders, by the way. I like the music, by the way. I keep forgetting that's awesome music in there. Ah, we did it. That was easy. Oh, no, 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 no. oh the bowl cracks. Oh. Oh, I forgot to use this one, by the way. Oh! Holy shit, that's a cool bow. Nice! That's some nice glamour for our ranger later. Oh, it's not ranger. What's it called, actually? Yeah. Let's just go black to blue mage for a bit. I have to be level 10 to get this? Alright, let's go back to, <laughs> to the main storyline. That's way easier because I'll be grinding it out myself, guys, don't worry. I have a friend who will help me out. Yes. <clears throat> Alright, Alfie. Ah, oh, there he is. Did I not tell you he would return to him safe and sound? Of course I will. The deed is done then. Titan is no more. It is. Good, there has been enough tragedy this day. Poor Gabu. He's been like that since he gained consciousness. We believe he can hear us, but he has made no attempt to respond. He is most certainly still in shock, but, but we cannot discount the possibility that he has succumbed to the primal's influence. Should that prove to be the case? Oh. Even have to put him down. We must not, we must not rush to conclusions, so let's hope we don't have to kill him. After all, we once feared that Yisrael's followers were beyond reason. And many have since laid down their arms and accepted the Ashgard's peace. True. We can but watch, wait, and pray. Poor Gamu. I feel so bad for him. Children don't deserve to lose their parents. Yeah, I do actually want to dismiss, dismiss the one. I want to wind up Emmerich. Alright. Uh, where is it? Minion guide. Where is the... There you are. Hehe. <laughs> there you are. So weird with the big head. Alright. There's not to be gained from dwelling on an eventuality over which we have no control. Much less one which may never even come to pass. Let us tend to more immediate uh, matters, informing Commander Blowedin of Titan's demise, for example. Alright, let's go. Here we go. Ah, you're a sight for sore eyes. When the others came back uh, without you, I feared the worst. But they said you had matters well in hand. Yep, I defeated Titan. Regardless of whether you or not he was summoned properly, a primal is a primal. And there ain't a soul in the maelstrom that hasn't lost a friend to one. True. Don't get me wrong, Nike. We were all prepared to do our part, but we weren't so naive to think we'd live to tell the tale. Well, luckily, I defeated him for you. Are we gonna eat some nice fish? I saw some fish near the campfire. Damn, that's a beautiful, beautifully made uh, sky. What's it called? A. Who goes there? I can't know the word for it. Beautiful sky, at least. Just me. 
Don't be scared. Oh, it's you. Forgive me for straying from the camp. He hasn't been feeling too welcome, to say the least. I thought a change of scenery might do him good. But, alas. Oh, fuck little creature. He looks a little bit like one of my cats. A little bit scraggy. But cute anyway. It's so quiet out here. The stars spread out before us, beckoning across time and space. Dawn may banish even the darkest night. How bitterly beautiful those words. True. I should be stronger for all my experiences. Yet my heart aches more than ever. It's called compassion. I never understood why Grandfather gave his life that day. I thought that if I came here, I would find the answers I needed. But when I finally laid eyes on the land he sacrificed everything to save, saw firsthand the bickering, <laughs> the pettiness. That's just more than that, you know. I was angry. I could not fathom how these people were more deserving of his love than his family, than me. He did what was right. I had to believe he had good reason. I was determined to uncover the whole truth of the calamity and, perhaps in so doing, find my own purpose in this sea of chaos. My travels have been enlightening, but I cannot say that I have enjoyed them. I have lost count of the many petty crises that I was helpless to resolve and of the people whose actions I could not understand. There were others, of course. Good people. People with whom I felt a kinship, whose lives I could not save. Oh. I found myself asking what it was all for. Why try if I was doomed to fail in the end? But then I recalled grandfather's words to my father, years ago, before he left Charlayan behind forever. And it was? To ignore the plight of those one might conceivably save is not wisdom, it is indolence. We must all protect that which we hold most dear in the manner of our own choosing. That's how you're supposed to do it. Smart man. Louis Wa. We have to try. Do we not? Of course it's one thing to try and another to do. There were times while I was tracking the warriors of darkness when I faltered. When I was afraid. But then I thought of my brother. Of Uri Angers. Oh, hmm. oh, pray forgive me. This conversation has been rather one-sided, hasn't it? Mayhap you could recount some of your adventures in Ishgard. Mm. I like the singing Yezhao. Gods! They must have been at each other's throats from dawn till dusk. <laughs> yes, they were. I dare say you managed to keep the peace, though. Merely being in the presence of the Warrior of Light is surely enough to shame anyone into behaving. <laughs> True. They had to behave. The hopes and dreams of so many rest on your shoulders, Warrior of Light. Don't make it sound like such a burden. Playing this game for fun. As long as the sun rises, we can but carry on. For the sake of those we hold dear. True. That's what we all do. I Man, it's really nice time, by the way. Skybox! Thank God. How did I not remember that name for a sky that's made in a game? Skybox. Seems so simple. <laughs> Where did you get that crystal? We defeated him, right? Not you. To what end dost thou cling to the tainted gifts of the mother? Every tool has its purpose. Even this.
Well, what is it? The seeds sown in Vilbrand have been plucked from the earth and left to wither. Hmm. Alas, Titan's demise sufficed not to drive the kobolds to deepest desperation. All right. So no more summonings. What did the man in white have to say? That we are to proceed as he did first set forth. Hmm, man. Which is? Well, that's easy for him to say. It's not his bloody world on the brink of destruction, is it? Be thou well reminded that with an end to Ishgard's unrest, naught now remaineth to preoccupy the Scion's thoughts. And thus may they devote their every energy to thwarting thee and thine. Mm. I, I think it's your difficulties at hand. Foresee? Are you sure you don't welcome them? I'm starting to think you might hold a candle yeah. for your old friends after all. I knew it was Orianje. Pray do not mistake mine intent. I but look upon the path which lieth before us with due trepidation. Shouldst thou be of like mind, pray consider then another course. For the power to invoke the ardor belongeth not unto the Asians alone. With mm. thine own hand, strike down thine enemy, the so-called hero who would see thy home lost to light. Do but this, and thou wouldst at a single stroke disrupt the all-too-delicate balance of this realm, plunging her straightways into chaos. So they have to kill me? I guess? Damn. You do realize what you're suggesting, yes? To ignore the plight of those one might conceivably save is not wisdom, it is indolence. The words of my teacher and a creed I hold close to my heart. Right, but sacrificing a few in, along the way is not a problem. Very well. Draw him out. We'll make it quick. Make it quick. We'll make quick work it of you. Be done. Even with Yan Jay. What good a creed one cannot uphold. What hurts soothed. What lives saved. Oh, hapless fool, what hast thou wrought by thine own hands? Hmm. Is regretting it? My friends, I shall not now beg your forgiveness. Full deeply, though it paineth me to walk it, I shall not stray from my chosen path. Yep, it is RNJ. As Moonbreeder remains steadfast. Yep. Moon. So too shall I. He just wants Moonbreeder back, probably. But we'll stop him, guys. Don't worry. Alright. There we go. Interesting conversations, all of them. I trust you had a good night's rest. I was but this moment speaking with Tancred and Yustola via Link Pearl. They had something interesting news to share. Apparently during the course of their respective investigations both came across crates which has once borne its guardian seals. It would seem that someone in the capital has been very busy indeed. Alright. Someone is feeding them crystals. Accordingly to the Temple Knights have launched full skill investigations. Sir Amaric believes it's only a matter of time before the culprits are found. But we shall have to wait and see. Uh, in the meantime, it seems only prudent to look into the recent activities of the other tribes, in case they, had, they too are flushed with Iskarian crystals. And with that in mind, I suggest we pay Uriange another. Wait, where is Elsie? She was here a moment ago with Gabu. Yes, I'm calling her Elsie because it's a nicer name. Let's find her. There they are. Mr. 
poor creature talking again. Maybe it's time to leave. Brother, Commander Blowden, something tells me you're not solely here out of concern for his welfare. But to answer your question, there has been no change. He will not speak or eat. I'm not even sure if he slept. If he did, he seems none the better for it. He just shuffles about with that same expression on his face. Poor little creature. You will look after him, won't you, Commander? And treat him with every kindness. He's still in there, I know it. Beneath the anguish and the despair, he's still fighting with all his heart. He deserves to be given that chance. Until he comes back to us. Until we know for certain what has become of him. Aye aye, you needn't worry. If he hadn't risked his neck to warn us and help you secure the better part of, of the crystals, this would, could have turned out to be a damn sight worse than it did. We'll not soon forget that. Nor will Milstrom command. That's nice. Poor Gabu. I'm so sorry, Gabu. I truly am. You should never have been made to. And I cannot. I know I cannot not possibly understand. Mayhap there's nothing to, I can do or say. The pain, the anger, the helplessness. Hold fast to the memories of better times. Remember them as they were. And when it hurts so much, your heart feels fit to burst. Let it burst, let it burst, and fill up again with your love for them. And never, ever forget. Good advice. Come along, little one. I will remember them. And you, Aisel. As I... Well, I, I, can't, I can't get her name right. I'll just call her Elsie still. Thank you. He talked. At least we saved someone, which is nice. Oh, I didn't even notice. I'm sorry if, if you're still here, meow, <laughs> meow, meow. But thank you for the follow. Thank you, thank you. The words have reached him. In time, he will recover. And those who orchestrated these events will be made to answer for their crimes. A thousand times over I, there will be a reckoning. Nice. She's fierce. I like it. Right. Return to the waking sands. Which means I got the use in that ticket. There we go. <laughs> I'm glad I still have those. Oh, there we go. Alright, ONG. Don't trust you at all still. We have heard glad tidings from Ogumoro, my friends. By the grace of the Twelve and your most valiant efforts, the people of Limsel Minza may rest easy. I should like to think so, yes, though we failed to prevent the Lord of Crags from manifesting. We did succeed in weakening him, enabling our friend to dispatch him before the warriors of darkness could make matters worse. It was by no means um, an unmitigated success, but it will have to suffice. Now let us speak of another matter, one which weighs heavy on my lady's mind. As thou didst the request, I sought out the Garun Oracles, that we might better understand the aims of the Warriors of Darkness. Though their copious use of allegory def defies any single interpretation, the Oracles paint a most disturbing picture. One of worlds parallel to our own, apart yet linked, reduced to ruin with every umbral calamity. Damn. 
seven times they have succeeded and of them and three only six worlds remain aye alles is my lady minvilia speak speak upon unto thee speak unto thee damn that's old speech as for what becometh of these reflections when they and the source are rejoined Frail flesh undone in the umbra fires, each soul surrenders to her call to flow unto the endless sea, there to endure as one and none. So be obliterated. <laughs> then, and if the warriors of darkness succeed, everyone in their world will die? In essence, I, the first speaketh of reunion of the flesh and subsequent return to the live stream. However, this fate may yet be preferable to the alternative. For if the first will were to fall to the descendant of light in the manner of the warriors of darkness described, it would give way unto a void where none may either know life or death. Like perfection, I guess. Interesting. Interesting. Far better to die, they reason, for in death there is life. The essence of a soul which returneth to unto the source may be born anew, saved. Such at least is their belief, I surmise. If that's true, then God, no one should ever have to make such a choice. <sighs> yeah, true. Ere we speak further on this subject, I would like to share with you another recent discovery. It would seem that si several sizable shipments of crystals have been lifted into the hands of certain Alamegan parties. Ah, oh, no, not again. Strange, and you believe this be the work of the same as guardian smugglers who supplied the priest tribes? I know beyond be a shadow of doubt, unless thou wonder at their motive. I would remind you that the Asian well, did once attempt to bring about the summoning of Ralgar. Yeah, but we prevented that one. I can remember because there was still um, some elegant youth and then we actually recruited him into the Braves. And afterwards he betrayed us again. So, it kind of sucks. <laughs> the individuals who took receipt of these shipments, no wait, he didn't betray us, he was killed. I remember. We'll see. Our refugees belong to a group devoted to the cause of Alamegan liberation. It may also interest thee to know that their Iskarian suppliers appear to be none other than the remnants of Eileen Royal's network of spies. Ah. Surely you jest, and yet it's not so surprising. Bereft of leadership and haunted by the hunted by the Alliance, I can well imagine such villains being desperate enough to conspire with the Asians. Assuming they even know how, but you know, if no or care who their new employees are, they don't. They just want power. I will come with you. No worries. Welcome, welcome, by the way. Uh, yes, of course. I should like to hear what they have to say for themselves first hand. Hmm. I don't trust you anymore, Arian J. Someone's calling them already. Oh, nice. Man in black robes. And you have them, and the crystals too. No, oh, of course. I'm trying to summon Ralgar. Which is cool because that will be a primal we haven't fought yet. Ah, and I was thinking what might finally be one step ahead of the Warrior of Light and his little helpers. Ah, wait a moment, there's more. And I defy you not to be surprised by this revelation. The leader of the Isgardian smugglers was formerly in the employ of one of Eileen's royal, the infamous Ivy herself. We already knew. No one, as I think I mentioned, the raid was less than an hour ago. I was planning to contact Yishtola next, but there's something else you would like to not have me notify first. Hmm. She's already suspicious again. Alright. 
This continues, I might have to race the match and let's go Alamigo, wait, let's go to Alamigo Alamigo I'll get to the bottom of this. All right. Oh, forgive me. I was. It has been a long day. Did you have something to say? Mm, yes. Listen, Sheila. If anything should happen, it should be me who. There's no that I'm prepared to do what must be done. Hmm. All right. Hmm. They're going to summon him probably. So to review, we are liably informed that the members of the Almegan resistance operating here have taken receipt of la several large shipments of crystals. Our task being to ascertain who and why. Alright, let's just find them. Alright, we have to question them again. That feels familiar, doesn't it? It's been a while since we had to do that. Uh, down here? Probably. Oh, they are peeing. Let's just go with the big bow around them. And leave them in peace. Alright. So cool they are peeing. Probably on Discord or something. Alright. Looking for the griffin and his bad. Lots of bad. Mm hmm. He's hiding on the face with all the scars. Alright. I don't get who he is, but... Oh, the last one is probably upstairs. I made that mistake last time as well. Didn't know there was an upstairs and... <laughs> I was like searching for like 10 minutes. Alright, uh, of course there is the last one. Resistance damned if I know. It's not as if I'd be any use of them. If you had stored by all of the, these tales of secret weapons, good luck to you. But I'm too old for the mask to add bedtime stories. This is our lot, and it's the time we got used to it. Alright, let's find who this mask guy is. There we go. I help you. Yep, they're summoning a primal. The masks, yet despite their growing popularity, no one seems to know much about them. Only that they are the most aggressively militant group to join the movement in recent memory. Indeed, many claim their commitment to the cause of Alamein liberation is unrivaled. But we can hope their revolutionary fervor is never channeled in the direction of a primal. Eh, uh, they will. They will summon Ralger. Wouldn't be surprised. Right, let's just fly there, I guess. Oh, we have to speak to Gundobald again. Alright, Gundobald. Much as it pleased me to see you again, Sir. I cannot help but wonder if I should be worried. I hear you and yours have been asking questions. Yeah, well, let's hope not another group is going to be, you know. Summoning something again. Give an eye on all of him, as do we all. He and his masks have become a leading faction within the resistance. Though there was suspicion at first given his secretive ways, he quickly proved himself a charismatic and capable commander. Men are drawn to his passion and his vision. They truly believe that he has what it takes to lead them to victory. Even I cannot help but admire the man for what he has for what he has accomplished. But I have not forgotten about real red. True. That's the guy that was killed later on. I was blind to the danger of his ambitions, and you were not. The Griffin will so soon deliver a speech to our people at the sunken temple of Karn. Go and see him with your own eyes. Weigh his words with your own heart. Good to know. Hmm. She wants to do some more investigating, I guess. Oh, okay. 
can't get up that way. Uh, there we go. Go, Krabby, go, fly! <coughs> there we are. I should be kind of ready. I hear voices coming from within. Oh, let's see. <laughs> hmm. Brothers and sisters, 20 years ago, Alamigo, our home was claimed by the Garlean Empire. In our haste to overthrow the King of Ruin, we turned a blind eye to our foes in the north. With our glorious revolution, we but laid a path for a new tyrant to succeed the old. And when confronted with our failure, we fled. All right, what do you want to do then? Not a day goes by that I do not think of those we left behind. <laughs> think of them and feel ashamed. And I know each and every one of you feels the same. He makes a good point, but... <laughs> what do you want to do? We abandon them. Our own flesh and blood. To labor till their backs gave in and their breath gave out. Building the twisted steel ramparts which now mar our once majestic mountains. Alright. We abandon them, the brave and true, to fight and die for their country. Or worse, to be conscripted and sent off to rob another poor bastard of his home. Alright. We abandon them. The meek and powerless to bow and scrape when the Garleans pass. To sully themselves that they might live to see another day of misery. Well, you're stomping him quite into the ground, are you? The Black Wolf may be dead, but a new Imperial Viceroy reigns in Alamigo now. A beast, not a fraction as merciful. Oh, he is quite the asshole. You all know the Aorzean Alliance will do not to oppose him. For all their promises and platitudes, they will not act if there's no profit in it. Only we can free our brothers and sisters from the Empire's tyranny, my friends. Only we have the courage to stand and fight. But there are only a few of you, so they how are you going to do it then? Us. They have enslaved us. And they have murdered us, but no more. Blood demands blood, and the Garleans shall pay for every drop they have spilt upon our lands. Oh, there's a lot of blood in. How are you going to do that, boy? This I promise you, for we have a power within us, my friends. A power befitting our pride, our righteousness. Only join us, and we shall grant you the means to unleash it, and together we shall see the Alamegan standard raised over the mountains of Gear Abania once more. Alright. And they are like, yeah, we'll sacrifice our lives for the that guy. Of course. A power befitting their pride. Not at all ominous that. <laughs> true, true. Wait, is that is that true? Do you have a Palimo? What are you two doing here? Finally found them. I could ask you the same thing. Finally. Well, well, this is quite the surprise. If you see what I see, if you feel as I might I suggest we continue this conversation in more agreeable surroundings? Agreed. I still wonder, I want to see her face under the mask though. 
Last time I almost saw. Alright, let's go. Alfie! Alright, let's see how Papadamo and uh, Yida are doing. Finally get to hear the new VA. Yeah, true! And they do sound way better than the other ones. Way, way better. <laughs> Papadamo was so annoying in the, the first VA. But if you truly believe that, forgive me. What exactly have you been doing this all, all this time? You know, hanging around, I guess. Repaying a favor. After the banquet, we had no choice but to flee Ulda. I would not have been able to do so without the aid of some old friends from the resistance. That's right, they smuggled us out of the city and shelled us in Little Alamigo. All at great risk to themselves. Obviously, we couldn't let it go. Unacknowledged. So we offered them help with the operations for a while. Alright, what about now? When we learned of the Scion's exoneration that Lorito had severed all ties with the Crystal Braves and that General Raban has been reinstated, we resolved to make a contact. But having long since discarded our Link Pearls as precautionary measure, our options were rather limited. Well, limited. We could have just, you know, teleported to us or something. To make matters more complicated, we were embroiled in a delicate operation at the time, leaving me with little choice but to entrust a letter to a courier. Courier, I gather from your puzzled expression, however, that, never, that you never received it. No. To be honest, we thought it was might happen. While the mask are happy to let the refu refugees spread the word within the community, they're pretty strict about communicating with outsiders. Oh, and we also heard a rumor that the Griffin doesn't want us meddling in his affairs. Can understand. The Griffin mistrusts the science of the Seventh Dawn? Well, because he is trying to summon a Primal. Isn't that difficult? Ah, I should say that the man you saw was not in fact a Griffin, but an impersonator and a talented rebel rouser to boot. It would not surprise me if he were responsible for the majority of these public appearances. Alright. As you may have gathered, the Griffin is an extremely cautious and distrusting man who has made every effort to conceal his identity. Even when we participated in the raid under his direct command, we were not permitted to approach him. Hmm. Too sneaky. Don't like him. It's hard to know what makes what to make of it all. The secrecy impersonates the masks. Says you, Yida. Take off your mask then. <laughs> They're all looking at her like... Really? What? It's not as if I'm making all of you wear one. And mine only covers half my face. <sighs> of course it's different. Anyway, when we heard the Griffin was due to give a speech, we thought it might be a good opportunity to get a better sense of the man behind the mask. God, those puns really now. To get a better sense of the man. Welcome all, by the way. We're finishing up uh, patch content. Probably get through one patch this time. Now you have heard the whole of it. But tell me, what prompted you to take an interest in the Griffin? Talking, talking, explaining, explaining. Summoning! You're not serious? I can't believe it. Of course he will. The resistance would never entertain such a ridiculous plan. But the Griffin? Well, the man is an enigma. I cannot say with any confidence what he would do, would or would not do. Uh, <clears throat> it's kind of hard to talk. <laughs> I've talked so much this evening already. Whatever it is, we'll find out together. And if anyone tries to stop us, they'll answer to me. Alright. Indeed, it's assuming you'll have us. Yeah! Welcome back, Papa Lemonida. Ooh, are they gonna get new outfits as well? It'd be so cool if the tarot makes new outfits. Ooh, get food. 
vlog night, a baked pudding filled to bursting with ripe. Oh, nice. It's so tasty. Cordon Bleu. It's also nice. And I'm getting hungry, guys. If, as you suspect, the Griffin is indeed plotting to summon a primal, we must needs obtain confirmation, Moderus. Yet time to act. To that end, I propose you question his double. Alright. You and Elfino will pose as adventurers falling on hard times, inspired by his words to take up arms for a noble cause. Sure. <laughs> you then I, as members of the resistance, will recount tales of your past achievements and testify as your usefulness in the struggles ahead. Alright. We can do that. Oh, we're just a poor adventurer. And we need money. I mean, uh, time to help you with your very important cause. Where do we have to go? Oh, we have to go inside, of course. Ah, uh, yeah, easier. All right. Sack of gill. All right, here you go. Well, you're one with the gill and see you're friends of a Palamo. Hmm. <laughs> All right, we even have to disguise ourselves. Clothes make the man, as to say. Well then, I'll go and change and see you in the spot. Alright, right, let's go. Are those uh, clothes that we have to wear? Yep. Um, what? Where the hell do we have to go? Ah, oh, we just have to wear them probably. Yep, now we can find it. Let's go. I know, it looks ridiculous though. Such a nice looking hat and then... Those clothes is ugly. Uh, hey, you also wearing them. Oh, look at this. A pair of down at heel adventures seeking a chance to recapture past glories. Alright. Cool outfit, by the way. Wouldn't mind My having that one. Comrades. Wouldn't like to have a cape, by the way. You must be the esteemed adventurers of whom I've heard so much. I understand you have taken an interest in our cause. A great interest, you might say. Your words have certainly mm. made quite an impression on my friend and I. The Resistance has long, and some would say wisely, avoided open engagements with the Garleans, but you and yours seem confident against the world in arms. I can only assume you have good reason to be so bold. Why, one might even think you were planning to summon a primal. Hmm because that would do much to explain the sizable shipment of crystals you recently received from your smuggler friends, whom our Ishgardian allies have since detained, lest you wonder. <laughs> I'd like to hear more about the Griffin. The real Griffin. Your performance earlier didn't fool us. Nah, that's what you have to say ah, for yourself. The famous scions of the Seventh Dawn. I should have known better than to think I could conceal the truth from you, Lot. You are right. I am not the Griffin, but I speak with his voice, and it was at his BS that we procured those crystals. Hmm. I don't trust you. You are wrong, however, if you think that we procured them to summon a primal. 
We use them to reach an accord with the Amalja. In exchange for crystals to summon their god, they will aid us in the fight for Alamegan liberation. Actually quite smart. You've got to be joking. Have you gone completely mad? When people find out you helped the Lizardmen summon Ifrit, they'll turn on the resistance. Alamigo will never be free! Hmm. This isn't a fairy tale, girl. We don't have the luxury to play at being honorable heroes. It's because the likes of you wouldn't sully your saintly hands that Alamigo's been under the yoke for the past 20 years. But the Griffin won't stand for it, and neither will we. We're mm. ready to do whatever it takes. Let's hope the Griffin is not Gilbert. Whatever it takes, huh? What proof do you have of this arrangement with the Amalja? What? Aside from a lack of crystals? None. But the Beastmen have a great big pile of the things if you fancy looking. You might want to hurry, though. It'll not be long before they summon their god. Well, of course Search you have to start camp if you don't them believe again. Me. We have not to hide. If there is a cache to be found, Ida and I will find it. Hmm. What are we going to do? Then let us be off. Are you perchance the warrior of light? I am. Aye. I thought so. You should know that a great many who have joined us did so because you saved them. Because you showed them that one brave man can make a difference. You saved me too once. Helped a friend over in Quarry Mill make some medicine I needed. But that was a what? lifetime ago. It's that guy. Damn. On behalf of my brothers and sisters, I thank you. You gave us hope where there was none. Courage and strength when all was lost. We shall not squander your gift. It's nice to know, but it's for the wrong reasons, guys. I know primal. that look, Ida, and I do not like it. You cannot <laughs> seriously be contemplating taking up arms with that band of cutthroats. I... I just... If the Griffin and his men have their way, it is only a matter of time before the situation in Alamigo comes to a head. Your homeland's future teeters on a knife edge, and any reckless action, however small, could have irrevocable consequences. You mm. mustn't lose sight of that, Ida. When the time comes, we must all make our choices, but we must do so in full possession of the facts. Now, let us away. Let us away. To be done. We must away. Their voice actors are really nice, I have to say. And then we're here just standing there. Right. What are we going to do? Right, get my back my gear on. All right. Just go like this. That's easier. There you go. Cory Mill. I remember. What? Alright, let's choose the food. I like corn and blue. So let's just eat it. Oh, we're almost 62, guys. Almost. Oh, no, we'd like to keep moving forward. I think the only real VA downgrade was Mill Rip. Really, I haven't heard of her yet, so. Wait, I have heard her. Was she already with the. Um but that event that we had were betrayed with Gilbert and uh, Lolorito and such. She was there, right? With the new VA. 
Almost early 3.0. Oh, Alright, I don't know she wasn't there yet. But still have her here then. Because I already forgot. I have to say, I haven't heard her voice in such a long time. I can't remember voices for very long. I do remember faces though. So it was easy for me to remember that guy that we gave medicine because, well, I still remember that quest line. Now that Tancred has finally arrived, <laughs> may I you could share your latest findings. Talking, talking, explaining, explaining. You mean to tell me that while you were worrying about you, ourselves sick, you'd have prepared him over here all along? Well, you still will be relieved and also angry. Mainly angry. Yeah, probably. As for the crystals, what choice do we have? We cannot very well leave them in the hands of the Amalgia. I'll just steal them back. Must make for Zarak without delay. I will. Agreed. If there's not else to discuss, let's depart at once. Alright, another trial probably. Ifrit Heart, but. Oh, wait. We already unlocked Ifrit Heart, so. We'll see. There you are again. Uri and Jay. And so they go forth in accordance with the grip with the Griffin's plan. Hmm. The players gather to assume their marks and a stage wreathed in flame. Here long the curtain shall rise, and the drama of which I am author, God forgive me, shall at last be performed. Damn it, Uri and Jay, stop it. Naught else remaineth, save to stand at the ready and pray that the chances cease, for never shall we know its like again. Hmm. I don't trust you. Right. They teleport us here? Nice, they've been learning from their mistakes. Alright. But guys, I'm gonna leave it at this. I'm tired as hell. The story is really great. But I can't go on. Oh, it's a solo duty. Oh, which is nice. Alright. I'll do that one next time. Andrew, thank you for watching. Anyone else who's watching still? Thank you. Don't forget to sub or follow. If you like. If you like what you're seeing. And... I'll see you next time. We'll be next Monday again. Uh, maybe a little earlier on Friday if I feel like it. But we'll see. Thank you all. And bye-bye.